Hello and welcome to the Simutech Tips and Tricks video series. Today we are going to see how we can quickly export material properties from engineering data into mechanical APDL format. So here I have inserted an ACP or ANSYS composite pre-post component into the project page. The engineering data only has the default structural steel and then the geometry is just a single surface body with an arbitrary thickness assigned to it. Now in the project page if I go to engineering data and then say engineering data sources and I have an XML file in this case I'm just going to choose one of the built-in uh, ones which is the additive manufacturing materials database so it has some pretty complex temperature dependent material properties such as uh, temperature dependent Young's modulus, temperature dependent stress strain curves for plasticity and so on. So I'm going to select all of these materials here and then add them to engineering data. Now if I go to the project page and then refresh the project So without even opening or knowing how to operate ANSYS composite pre-post, right, it has prepared a material.apdl file for me automatically. So if I right click and then open containing folder, I can find the .apdl file which can be opened in notepad. So as you can see here, so it's defined material number one as the built-in structural steel. Material number two is the 17,4 pH stainless steel with temperature dependent coefficient of thermal expansion, temperature dependent Young's modulus, and also uh, plasticity curves. So similarly for the 316 stainless steel and so on. So now in APDL, I can just go to file read input from this one and then I'll have access to all the uh, material properties there. Thank you for watching this video.